Welcome to the headlines. I'm Siri Su. Thank you for joining us. The H1N1 flu outbreak in Yangon, Myanmar, has led to 20 deaths as of August 11. To help contain the epidemic, Tsuji Foundation has provided local hospitals with related medical supplies, as well as medical delegation with experience containing such epidemics. Let's take a look at how the medical delegation helped local authorities work to contain the flu outbreak in Myanmar. Upon their arrival in Yangon, the medical delegation goes to North Akalapa General Hospital. As they take a look at the isolation wards, Dr. Lin Junlong offers his Taiwan experience. There are two types of isolation wards, known as positive and negative pressure rooms. A negative pressure room avoids contamination. As the air is sucked out, contamination can be prevented. Then the medical delegation also visits the University of Medicine 1 and the University of Medicine 2. Suji Foundation since 2008 9. When after having an August, they brought the, one of the kids with the uh, CV, Cerebral Palsy. Suji Foundation helped me to design the hospital. That hospital design, actually, owner is Suji Foundation. Thank you very much. As Dr. Lin Junlong talks about the development of Tsuji's medical mission, both in and out of Taiwan, the medical professors in Myanmar look forward to working with Tsuji. With Tsuji's help, it looks like Myanmar is now able to contain the flu epidemic. I hope Tsuji can also help our medical school students organize medical teams so the medical development here can be more complete. On their second day in Myanmar, the Tsuji medical delegation visits three public hospitals and they've noticed that the environment is similar to that of Taiwan in the early years. With our past Taiwan experience, we will help them create a more sanitary environment and a more efficient way of caring for the patients. Tsuji has lent a helping hand as we lack certain medical experience. I hope we can exchange more experiences in the future. As medical professionals exchange their experiences, Burmese doctors will be more confident in containing the flu outbreak. On the third day of their visit in Myanmar, city medical delegation visits a public hospital to understand the treatment and isolation technique for flu patients. Their basic workflow is fine, however, maybe because of their lack of resources and medical professionals, there are still some details which are not perfect. Health officials say Myanmar's biggest problem is the lack of medical resources as well as experience containing epidemics. During the visit, the medical delegation and the local doctors keep exchanging their experiences. Although Myanmar is far from us, thanks to Tsuji, we are able to care for them with timely assistance so the epidemic can be contained. I believe that is everyone's wish. Medical supplies from Taiwan and Malaysia have also been delivered to Myanmar. At the handover ceremony, health officials expressed their gratitude on behalf of the Burmese government. I appreciate very much for your support. And indeed, the support you have provided us is uh, providing the very right time, the h one infection and the PPE. So we have a PPE, but uh, some of the food set up, they are not in the good stock very, very uh, big in number. So that, uh, As Tsuji joins hands with the Burmese officials, everyone is working with one heart to quickly contain the flu epidemic.